Welcome to the Weekday Report for Wednesday, August 13th. I'm Kathy Troher. Here's a brief look at the news. Looks like it'll be an unprecedented fourth term in office for Sheriff David Beth. The incumbent withstood challenger David Zorner's bid to unseat him in Tuesday's Republican primary. With no Democrats on the ballot, Beth is all but assured to hold on to his seat come the November 4th general election. He received about 70% of the roughly 10,000 votes cast. In other Tuesday races, former state Senator Van Wangard cruised to victory in a Republican primary against Jonathan Stites. Wangard will face Democrat Randy Bryce in November, and the race for the first congressional district seat will see incumbent Paul Ryan up against Rob Zerban again. Both of those candidates won their primaries. For more election coverage, including statewide races, go to KenoshaNews.com or see today's Kenosha News. An unusual number of cases requiring outside legal counsel this year has sent Kenosha's human resources budget soaring. The majority of the costs stem from labor matters, including the city's efforts to terminate a firefighter and a police officer, and a complaint lodged against Fire Chief John Thompson. In the first half of this year, the city spent $156,000 on attorney fees for labor and personnel matters, considerably more than the $35,000 the city budgeted for the entire year. The death of comedian and actor Robin Williams by suicide has millions talking about and thinking about mental illness, addiction, and suicide. Debbie Ruber, a suicide prevention coordinator with the Kenosha County Health Department, said a tragedy such as this one definitely brings awareness to these problems. See today's Kenosha News for suicide warning signs and resources where those who need help can get it. Kenosha's Lenny Borsch Jr. soared into second place after a strong round of qualifying in the PBA 50 Bowling Tour in Welch, Minnesota on Tuesday. Borsch sits 25 pins behind PBA Hall of Famer Norm Duke with a 227.8 average after two rounds of qualifying. Borsch advanced to today's match play with the championship round slated later this evening. The event is the final stop in the 2014 season. What do a pineapple, a head of cabbage, and a cucumber have in common? They were all among the produce folks found in their crop boxes this week. Don't know what a crop box is? Jesse Hellman explains. More than a thousand people came to Jerry Smith Pumpkin Farm on Tuesday to pick up a deal that's gaining popularity on Facebook. Every Tuesday, the farm offers $10 crop boxes. Each box contains a variety of fruits and vegetables, including corn, potatoes, cabbage, apples, peaches, celery, bell peppers, and tomatoes. This week's box also included a pineapple. Here's Amy Smith to tell us more. How'd you guys come up with doing this crop box thing? Do you do it every year? No, okay. actually a friend of ours, mm -hmm. Meyer Family Farms does it out in Salem. Uh -huh. And he said, hey, why don't you guys give it a shot? Uh -huh. So we did, and it's gone viral, it's gone crazy. It's a blast. Customers must sign up in advance on Facebook to get the deal. The owners of Jerry Smith Pumpkin Farm are hopeful that the success of their new crop boxes will help customers understand they don't just sell pumpkins. For the Kenosha News, I'm Jesse Hellman. What's trending today? Looks like Aaron Rodgers is slated to debut in Saturday's preseason game. We know lots of folks are looking forward to seeing him on the field. What kind of season do you think he'll have? Tell us on Facebook. Up next is Dave Marin with a sports take. What a debut. I'm Kenosha News sports editor David Marin and this is a sports take. It was quite a season for the Kenosha Kingfish. The Northwoods League team made a refurbished Simmons Field come alive again in its inaugural season. The Kingfish played to 72,838 fans in Kenosha, an average of 2,207 per game, which was fourth in the 18-team Northwoods League and eighth among summer college teams overall. The Fish earned their following. They were well organized, well marketed, and put on a darn good show, both on the field and in between innings with those interesting promotions. I'm Kenosha News Sports Editor David Marin, and that's a sports take. Thanks, Dave. Now here's a look at what we're working on today. 
Lots of trees were taken down over at uh, Southport Plaza on Tuesday. Terry Flores is checking into why they were removed. And we'll have plenty of coverage from the Kenosha County Fair, which kicks off today. Pick up a copy of the Kenosha News and check kenoshanews.com for all the details on these stories and more. I'm Kathy Troher with the Weekday Report.